Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In this video we're going to be showing you how to add this really cool add-in which is a date picker into your Excel. And you can see the icon we have here in our ribbon, what's the date picker? And the real benefit of it allows us when we're using, uh, obviously, or when we're navigating, should we say, the cells in our worksheet, we're able to get this little pop-up, what allows us to click it, and we get the date pop-up, what allows us to then click the desired date of our choice, and it will get populated into our column or into our desired cell for us automatically. So without further ado, we're gonna jump straight into the video and show you firstly how to get the add-on and then how to get it installed into your Excel. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is download the add-in itself. So in order to do that, we just need to navigate to the website. Uh, link for the website can be obviously being seen on our screen now, or you can find it in the description for this video. So just click that link and it should take you straight to the page. Once you get there, all you need to do is scroll about halfway down the page, and you'll see this button here for download now for Excel 2017-19. Uh, just click that link and it will download a zip file uh, obviously to your downloads folder. We've already done this, so we'll just jump over to our downloads folder and then continue what you need to do. So if you go to your downloads folder, you can see this uh, zip file what sits here ready to go. All I'm going to do is select that file and extract its contents to our desktop. So I was going to browse, find my desktop do OK and then extract the files and we can see it's now put there on our desktop so we're all good to go what I'm going to do is just close these windows go back to the desktop and then we'll open up Excel and it's going to open up a blank workbook cool and let's get rid of these got a few little pop-ups and update obviously to do but we'll worry about those later so in order to get the add-in into Excel all we need to do is just go to our file tab we can then go down to uh, options and then we just need to go to our add-in section on the left here and then at the bottom here you've got the section of manage Excel add-ins so if that's not on add-ins all you need to do is just change it but it should default to be defaultly set to add-ins and then just select go uh, you then get another pop-up what we do here is go browse go to the location that you saw stored that file and for us we've got it here on our desktop once selected, we're just going to hit OK, and you can see it's been added there, and it's got the tick box. If you click OK, and now you can see that the date picker is there in the ribbon at the top of the screen. So if we want to put a date in there, all we need to do is select our date um, from the, the icon from the ribbon, and you can see we can go through and select any date that we acquire. And let's just make that kind of a bit bigger so we can see, and we've got a perfect date captured in there for us. If we go to the cell below, because we've put a date in the row above, uh, the add-in is automatically thinking, ah, we're most likely going to want another date because obviously we're putting a value below an existing date. So we get this little pop-up here. So all we need to do is select that and we can go through and select another date as required. And we can keep going down and adding whatever dates we require. So it's a really, really cool add-in and obviously it makes it really, really sleek and it's just really easy to use. And obviously if you've added a date and you want to change it, just go back to wherever you want to do and you can then navigate to either a, a month in the future or a month in the past and then select obviously the days that you are after. The other real great use of this is let's say we have a date we want to put in here but it's not maybe this month or this year. All we can do is go into our pop-up and we can either go into the date and you can see it's selected by doing the underline and hit select and we can now navigate to any of our months throughout the year. So let's go to April and we can do the same with years. So if we go to the year, you can then scroll through all years of what we've got available in the add-in and I've just now gone a bit too far now. But as an example, let's just pick out, um, oh, am I nearly there? Let's just pick out 1991 and then you can obviously select the date from April 1991 and that will automatically add the date in there for you as well. So it's really, really useful for doing past and pre uh, future dates in all. Let's say that we don't want to uh, have this pop up here in the grid. All we need to do is go into our date picker icon, do the drop down, and we can just untick this option here for show in grid. So if we untick that and navigate away, you can see now that, that pop up will not be there. So every time you want to add a date, all you need to do is navigate to your date picker icon here and then select the date and it will then populate that date into the cell you had selected. But me personally, I really like that showing grid. I just think it gives it a really good look. So we'll just tick that again so we've got it available. The other way you can populate a date in here is to right click 
and you can see you now got date picker automatically set uh, as the top option in our um, in our pop up here for um, all these options. So you can just right click, go to date picker, and that will pop up as well. So this is potentially a good option uh, if you didn't want to have that in grid view. Uh, what this little pop up what you have here at the moment. If you did want to, or if for some reason this date picker option was not available in this menu here, all you need to do is go to your date picker uh, drop down again. Just make sure that it's uh, ticked in the show on right click. If this is ticked but it's not appearing, then a quick fix will probably be just untick it. So you can see there's no tick there now. And then just tick it again. And that will then hopefully, or should then repopulate it in there. Uh, not a common error, but I have seen it a couple of times where it's like it's ticked. So it should be there, but it's not appearing in that right click menu. But just a quick untick and then retick will make that show up again. So one problem uh, that you may have with using the date, uh, this particular add in, is say we've been joining it, it's working in Excel very well, but we now go and close Excel. Uh, no, we don't want to save our workbook. And then we go to open Excel once more and go into a blank workbook. You can see that it's actually it's still there. So we've actually not had the problem I was trying to demonstrate. But the problem that you can sometimes face is if I go to my documents and I did this to my desktop, uh, is often what will happen is when you go to reopen Excel, it might uh, no longer show that add in in your ribbon. Uh, and the particular reason or problem that can that or what can cause that is if you go into uh, the pop-up we've got here now and under the general tab we go to the bottom here you can see that uh, under security this file came from another computer and might be blocked to help protect this computer so if the um, add-in is not appearing when you go back into Excel uh, then what you want to do is come into this pop-up or go into the uh, the properties and then go to the general tab and just make sure you unblock um, because uh, often what it'll do is Excel will be blocking it uh, when it's being added back into Excel. Me, for my example here, it was still in Excel but I'm still going to just do this unblock here. Uh, the reason for that is because if there's any updates I download or install in Excel, I just want to make sure that it's not going to get then missed off in the future. But by unblocking it, it should uh, not cause that to be a problem in the future. So I'll just apply that and do OK. And then we should now be completely set to start using uh, our date picker going forwards. So once again, we want to put a date in there. We can just select it from here. And then we then got once uh, Excel has recognized that we've got uh, dates in here, then it'll obviously allow us to then do the picker from the grid. And the other little tip I just left out is if you go to the date picker and you do yeah, it, we can do it from this icon here. You can see at the bottom it has a current time and or current date and time as well. And you can see the seconds there as well. And you can see the little prompt we've got there is insert today's date, hint, right click to insert date and time. So we could either left click this to insert our date, or if we actually wanted the date, uh, the actual date and time as it is at the moment in time, if you just right click that, you can see that it's put the date and the time in for us as well. So again, another really useful feature if you're wanting to capture the exact date and time as that doing that. So we hope you enjoyed that video and that's given you a really, uh, well, an insight really into in adding your first add-on maybe to Excel, but also giving you an add-on that's particularly useful and is, is one that actually should probably be part of Excel because it just seems right to have this available. Uh, we've often had the request uh, from clients that they want to have a date selector like this uh, because it's easier for uh, people to populate and put dates in. Uh, and obviously it just makes it easier for people to not be messing around with any formatting when coming to do those dates. So it's very, very useful for that. And it's just a great uh, all round add in uh, addition to your Excel uh, platform. So if you did enjoy the video, please do give the video a like. It's greatly appreciated by us and it obviously does help the channel out tremendously. If you haven't already as well, do subscribe to the channel. Uh, make sure you hit that bell notification button so you're notified of all of our future videos. Uh, we have a lot of videos coming out uh, really soon. So again, by hitting that bell notification button, you'll be notified of them as they come out onto our channel. We've also got a couple of links in the description to this video uh, for our social media. So they're great platforms again for getting in contact with us and also being notified of any new videos that are coming out and also interact with the community uh, that's growing uh, of people who are passionate about Excel and obviously have any questions or answers they want and can provide. So thank you very much once again for watching and we'll see you in the next video.